Good morning, it is Tuesday and today we are off to Ikea. I have just finished off another vlog, so if this seems repetitive, then it kind of feels a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're off to Ikea, we've got lots that we want to get today. Um, in fact, we have had a little sh a little reshuffle over here to work out how we think this, <clears throat> sorry, how we think the living room is going to work best. And I think we've decided that we want to get a corner sofa and then put the TV over on that side. I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, we've got so many bits that we want to get today. We've got furniture, we've got bits and bobs, kitchen stuff, vases, baskets, um, all sorts. So it's gonna be a really big Ikea trip. But I thought I would vlog it and show you guys what it's like there at the moment, What what's new in there. I have not been to Ikea in probably about years. I mean, years and years, maybe like eight years. I don't know, it's been a long while. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, that is the plan. I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing, even though it's not very exciting, but I just wanted to be really comfortable. Come on, focus. So I've just got on this long cardigan from ASOS, black body from Misguided, and these denim shorts from Misguided as well. If you saw my Misguided video, you will know that I complained about how big these were and that they were way too big for me. Somehow, I've either grown or like the belt worked because actually, they fit all right now. Like I just, I mean, there's still quite a lot of room in them. Like. They're still quite baggy, but they are so, so, so comfortable. So I've just been living in them since I filmed that video. Um, so yeah, these are from Misguided and I've also got on my Birkenstocks just for pure comfort. I thought if I'm going to be doing however many laps of Ikea, I want to be comfortable. Um, and also I put my hair in plaits because I didn't want to wash it this morning. So plaits was an easy option. Um, so yeah, that is my outfit. And I am just waiting for Lou's breakfast to be cooked. He has just popped um, some sausages and a baguette in the oven to make himself some food. I've had overnight oats. Um, and then we're going to head off, get on the road, and hopefully be there nice and early. It is quarter, well, it's ten to nine now. And we're thinking we're going to leave her at nine and hopefully be there before ten. We have just got to Ikea and the queue looks, I think it looks worse than it is because it is moving pretty quickly, but there are a lot of people queuing up here. We've just got into Ikea. It took us about, it took us about half an hour? 10, 15? No, it's you 11 o'clock. You know it's 11 o'clock now? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took us about half an hour. Um, although it did go really quickly, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Um, but yeah, it's quite quiet in here as well. So we've just come into like the sofa section and They've got lots of sofas, although I haven't seen any that I particularly like yet. Um, but there is quite a big selection of them. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't realise this is sofa section. Did you not? No, I think this is, it's not all sofas, but it is a lot of sofas, isn't it? Do you think this one over here is the corner that we were looking at, but in white? Right. In grey, yeah, but we were looking at it in white. <laughs> oh, well, you were looking, weren't you? Was it, was it a grand 95? No, I don't think so. She's done it, yeah, I think so. Um, no. But I think I did look at something like this, but maybe slightly smaller. No, I don't like that because I feel like too much. That's like just so typical IKEA. No, I know, but I'm just not into that sort of size. Yeah, it's a nice big one. Yeah. To be fair, it's not bad, I suppose. It's all right. It is nice, I think it's just a bit too, I don't know. But anyway, that sofa is a good size, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, it's uh... Comfortable? Yeah. Sir, please, can you take your feet off the... Uh... <laughs> See, this is what I Is it comfortable? Before we sleep on Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's very comfortable. Um, anyway, this isn't all the sofas. I'm sure there'll be plenty more, so we'll go and go and find some more. I don't wish but it's not. I don't love any of these. Do you? I do what I don't wish to. I don't wish to do a preliminary walk round. Can you? Can you come back on yourself though? Can you come back and do another lap after you've done one? 
But then, and then if you some bits, you say, oh, I really like that, I really like that, and then you can come back round. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That looks really cosy and like almost country cottagey. I think it's because it's got the panelling on there, like that sort of country cottage style panelling. But that sideboard, as you know, it is very, it is very IKEA, but it is nice. I know we're in Ikea, <laughs> but I mean some things don't look I like typically, I think it's just this style, is it the Hemnet? Yes, yeah, it's the Hemnet style that just looks very Ikea, but I do, I do really like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, not those though, they're a bit square for what I was after. That unit's nice as well though, isn't it? Although we haven't really got anywhere to put something like that, but it is nice. Which one? The whole thing? It's in, it's in I know, I know. You can have the middle section, be like where your mirror is in the bedroom, you can have the hall in the lounge now. Yeah. Just spotted this little unit, this little sideboard that I quite like. Someone's on it. Um, yeah, I quite like it with the um, wicker ones in it because I think the white's too much of a contrast. Where is that? But I quite like it with those. This is our little dimensions drawing of what we need things for. Long, long room. What is it? Where is it going? Where is it for? So it'd be like, maybe on one of these, but it wouldn't go on any of them, would it? I like these little blue, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I like these little blue vases as well. I think they're really nice. And nine pounds is so good for that one. It's quite big as well. So I might get, I might get the, I think that one's maybe a little bit too blue, but I like that one with a little blue top. It's very kind of Santorini-esque. And in fact, they would even look nice in the garden, wouldn't they? Yeah. Sorry, Lou is just, <laughs> Lou's just sitting. Kissing my shoulder. <laughs> These little vases are lovely as well. I've got this big one which is £12 with the blue stripes around the bottom. And then I'm not sure what these are. What are they called? They're called Smiker. Um, it doesn't say. Oh, they're £3 a stem. Um, but I really like the kind of like muted green of them. I think they look nice coming out of it. Very sort of Mediterranean esque. And this little one is £3.75. And that's quite cute as well. Well, I do kind of wish that maybe that was black instead of blue, but I do like them. I think I might, I think I might actually copy that setup. There's another little setup. I quite like these um, square units as well. They're fifty pounds, which is really good, and I quite like the way they look with bits stacked on them, like books and vases. Do you like them, Lou? These, yeah, yeah, I think they look nice. Yeah, I like anything. To be honest, I'm easily persuaded by anything. You are. Um, oh, this is. These are the ones I meant that we were looking at a minute ago. These are the other bookcases. They're two fifty. Two fifty for book with doors. Billy bookcase fifty five. Glass door thirty five. Oh, so it's, that's two fifty for both of them. So it's one hundred and twenty five per per book per one. And I think they look nice as well, don't you? Yeah. It's two fifty for two units and four doors. Yeah, no, no, but I think maybe you might not want it, but I think that would go outside our bedroom. That's what I was looking at to put somewhere like that or, or somewhere. Should we get one anyway? Should we put one should we get one anyway and then find somewhere to put it? Yeah, that's uh, no, right. Will it not? Yeah, we can get one and find somewhere to put it. Yeah. You might want it in your office or something. Yeah, but then I've got quite a lot of white in there now, haven't I? Oh, right, okay. Orange. But I did think about getting one of those for the office, so maybe I'll get one of those and then move the chest of drawers I've got somewhere else. Yeah, we have reshuffled. But I do like that. Do you think black? Yeah, I think they look nice anyway. It's quite a dark room, isn't it? It is very dark in here. Let's go somewhere a little brighter. Oh, here we go, TV cabinets. This is definitely something we need to get. A TV cabinet. Which was the one we were we were looking at the Hemnes one, weren't we? Hemnes, Hemnes. Which is we'd spotted one online that we liked the, the look of that we thought we might get. But was it that one we were gonna get? No, it wasn't. Oh maybe it was. Maybe it was, but I don't like the way the shelves are like staggered. Maybe it's there, they're there for if you want to put doors on it. I'm not really, I'm not too keen on the way the shelves are staggered either, are you? I didn't even notice that. I think it looks a bit weird, unless yeah, they've just moved it, it. Yeah, look, there's a hole there. Oh yeah, you can put them where you want to. 
Oh yeah, it is that because we looked at that one as well because I said, oh, there's a taller version of it if you like the taller version. Yeah. So it is that. It's less... Um, I, I quite like it actually. I quite like the fact that it's a little bit like grainy. grainy. I, 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 want, I thought it had doors on it. This was the other one I quite like the look of, this unit. It's £65, but I quite like the look when it's got kind of books and ornaments and stuff popped on there and then maybe a couple of wicker baskets at the bottom. Yeah. Um, and 65 is really good. <laughs> God, they've got lots of cabinets, haven't they? I think we need to get a few of these as well. These baskets, six pounds is good. So we'll get some of those for just like kitchen storage. Oh, I like the way those shelves look with the, the white ones with the black brackets. Don't get me wrong, I don't need any more shelves, but I do think they look nice, don't you? Yeah, in your office. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Not keen on the grey, but no, no, but I do like the I do like the sort of style of them. Hound's tooth chair. Yeah, get this in our bedroom. <laughs> These placemats are really nice. Um, they are four pounds each, and they're kind of like black, uh, sort of natural with the black stitching running through it. So I might get some of those. They're nice, aren't they, Lo? Yeah. Or do you prefer this style? I don't know why I'm asking him. Probably the other side, black, because you've got some dark, the dark thing in it. Nice little utility room. Is it a utility room? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice utility room, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like a kitchen slash utility. I like these curtains and I think I'm going to get some of these for our bedroom. They're just like a white kind of linen, linen feeling simple curtain with like the pencil pleat ones. They're cool, those big lights. Not that they sort of go in our house, but they do look nice. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like a Wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone and I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm. These little chest of drawers down here are the Rast ones and I've seen lots of like hacks on Pinterest where you can kind of where they're sort of so basic you can paint them you can add little bits of wood and change the handle and they look really good and they're only 25 pounds so i was going to get one of those well two of those as bedside tables and then kind of like upcycle them and make them look how i want them to look um because i think they're the perfect size of bedside tables they're like a good width but not too wide um but they've, they're out of stock they said on the bottom it says currently out of stock so that's annoying because they're so good for 25 pounds i do also quite like the style of this one and the shape of it but there's something about the handles it kind of makes it a little bit industrialish like a little bit do you know what i mean these are nice for three pounds nice little pots it's like a um it's like a wedding shop isn't it that's how they've set it up as a bridal shop yeah that's bridal underwear oh right is it? yeah You've always got that stuff on. No, please. I'm trying to be professional here. But that's all, these are all like wedding -y shoes and accessories. This is a wedding. Is yes. A wedding in that house? Well, they're, kind, they're trying to give you an idea if you were going to open a bridal shop, oh. how you could display things. Because these are all like bridesmaid dresses. Oh. And look, this is your something blue. A lot of people wear a garter. That's blue. Where does it go? Tell me you know where it goes. <laughs> it's what? Yeah, this is a dressing room. Look at that. 
See, the, this sort of thing here. Oh, yeah, I just, it's just not big enough. No, it's not, is it? Because uh, that was the sort of thing I thought of having in that little area. Next time. Next time. Next time. But yeah, you can get all these sort of like units for a built-in wardrobe. 265 for that big section, which is really good, I think, if you've got the space for it. If you had the money, I think it would be fun. <laughs> What's the point in this little thing here? Is it like a cat bed or something? Do you think? Footstool with storage. <laughs> It's definitely not a cat bed. Footstool with storage. It does look a bit weird though, doesn't it? It looks like a little animal with a big mouth. This is second round. This is the one I've got in my office, isn't it? One that, um, apart from I think I've got the um, stained white one, whereas this is more like a gloss one. Um, but I do think the Hemnes ones are really like nice, simple white ones. And this is the Copang, which is kind of like a cheaper version of the Hemnes ones so like this drawer is 65 whereas these ones are a bit nicer and they're 115 they're just like slightly better quality these look a little a little bit cheaper but they're still really good <laughs> we're just testing out to see how comfortable the sofa is see if we can imagine ourselves chilling here of an evening and it feels comfortable it's the what is it called the Grundig? Grunded. Yeah. Grunded. Grunald. Grunald. You just said yeah. <laughs> There's no NLD at the end. Oh, okay. But well, anyway, it's the Grunald. But oh, this. No, it's oh, it's the Grunald. <laughs> like I said first. Um, but yeah, it's really comfortable. And this is the one I think we may go for in white. Just because it's just like. I said, it's nice fabric as well. It's kind of like nice, sort of soft. Like, feels like it'd be wearable, doesn't it? feels nice um, and I like the style of it as well so I think we might get one of these obviously we're not going to buy it today because it wouldn't fit in your van or if it did nothing else would fit in there but yeah I think we might go for this one very industrial isn't it? yeah they look industrial but they've got like nice stuff arranged on them so this is what I said about putting plates on the shelves what do you think do you think the plates look nice up there no no, honestly, I think it looks like a restaurant kitchen. Yeah, actually, it does look restauranty, doesn't it? I like these little baskets, though. We'll have to look for those in a minute. Or something like that for near the front door, but bigger. And this greenery is nice as well, isn't it? It's just an old yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We've got lots of throws as well. I quite like this simple white waffle one. It's 50 pounds and it is, yeah, it's a bedspread. That's nice. And then they've got loads of other neutral ones. That's nice as well. That's only 13 pounds, which is really good. I might actually grab one of those because I feel like that'd be just nice chucked over the back of a sofa. Is that him here? Yeah, should we grab one of those? And then they've got lots of gray ones as well. And then over on this side, there's lots of cushions as well. Obviously, I've been drawn to all the neutral ones, but there's loads of different colours. Red, yellow, green and blues over there. Um, but again, they're super cheap as well. I quite like these sort of neutrally ones. Um, these are all cushion covers. So I think you buy the cover, which £1.75 is so cheap and then you buy the cushions separately. Yeah, so these are the cushions. These are £5.50 or £4.50. <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I can, uh, we've just got to um, the duvet section now. Duvets and pillows. Did you want to get a thin duvet? Yeah, well, there's one over there, 40 months. No, your mum said she got a one tog one. Yeah, but your mum said she got a one tog one. Next up is rugs. Gosh, there's a lot of rugs. Quite like that one, I think that's nice. 
It's like natural, but almost of like a slightly grey tone to it, like a neutral grey tone to it. Then they've got loads of these jute ones, which are really nice. Didn't have to get one of those big jute ones. What do you think of these big ones, Lou? It's like what we've got in the hallway. Looks really for the living room. looking at the photo frames and I like these ones that are called long Lomvacan and typically there's just an empty space where they're supposed to be they've got loads of other black ones but I prefer the thin frame of these and then the white border on the inside they're nice as well river I could get three of those these are good if you just wanted like a simple piece of mirror to like put on a wall or something aren't they for 25 pounds 22 and 15 Okay, we've done all of the vases and the baskets and bits and bobs and now we are going down to get some furniture. We've just got down and we've come to aisle nine because that's where the first bits we need to grab are. I'm just leaving Lou to find it. Um, by the way, this is where all the outside furniture is because I was, I was wondering where, well, where it was when I was upstairs um, and they've got some really nice tables and chairs which we do need but I'm just so done with Ikea now. I don't think I could spend any longer looking for things. Um, this is quite nice. I suppose this would go nicely with our shed when that's done as well. Although it's not really that big. Anyway, they've got some nice bits. Good morning. It is a few days later now and I just wanted to jump on to finish off the video. I was going to go through everything and chat through everything we bought and show you everything, but I'm gonna be really annoying and save that for Wednesday's video because I feel like this is already long enough as it is and I want to kind of chat through everything we bought, um, chat through prices, show you some of the bits of furniture that we got that Lou put together already um, and I will also chat through some bits that I'm going to be ordering as well. So I thought, yeah, I thought it'd be better putting this in a separate video so I hope that's okay. Um, but we had a pretty successful trip I'd say it was blooming exhausting. I had, I totally forgot how exhausting a day at Ikea is. And I know that sounds dramatic, but it's just tiring. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty successful. We got quite a few bits, not as much as we thought we were going to at all, and not as much as we needed to get. But I think we got to the point where we were, we were like, right, let's, let's get out of here. If there's anything else we want, we'll just order it online, like enough's enough. Um, it, was a, it was a full day. Um, but yeah, it was good. We got quite a bit and what I will do is like I said I'll chat through everything that we bought But if you've got any questions at all about Like different items or about what the experience was like Then just leave a comment and I will either answer your comment on this video or I will answer it in the next video Like I'll chat through um, But yeah, we managed to get quite a few bits and it's slowly starting to make the house feel a little bit more homely um, So I am going to finish this video here I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see Wednesday's video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.